purpose of this video is to explain how the Exeter Law curriculum is structured and how the different forms of classroom-based activities relate to one another. When you arrive at Exeter, you'll be placed into a group of nine students. We're going to call this group a syndicate. The syndicate's really important to understanding how the whole curriculum works because the curriculum is premised on a mixture of teamwork as well as individual preparation for classes. So when you get to Exeter, you're going to meet these nine students and you're going to stay in that group throughout all of your learning in the first year. So you'll have four subjects in the first year and you'll stay together going to each of the different classes in four different subjects. In each of the four subjects that you'll be studying, uh, the subject will be divided into nine learning cycles. And a learning cycle comprises a couple of lectures, a syndicate workshop, a seminar, and a Q&A session. And each learning cycle covers typically a topic or subject area within that broad module or subject area. For each learning cycle, you'll be provided with a pack of materials. And those materials will be telling you what you need to be reading before each class. So it'll be really important that you follow that reading list and that you come prepared for classes so that the learning can be as productive as possible. So as you participate in each learning cycle, you'll need to be thinking about the next learning cycle. So you'll be participating in activities for cycle one. And as you're perhaps having the seminar for cycle one, you'll be beginning to think about cycle two. So you'll need to manage your time very carefully and you'll need to organise yourself so that you're ready for those learning activities that we're about to describe. Each core module then is divided into nine cycles of learning and each cycle of learning in turn is divided into four learning opportunities. The first of which is the lecture. Now the lecture is exactly as it sounds. It involves a member of faculty such as myself um, talking to the entire cohort of around about 380 students for an hour. And the lectures happen once every week for each core module. And the point of the lecture isn't so much to tell you everything you need to know, it's to give you the parameters of the topic, such that when you then move on to do your independent uh, research, reading cases and articles, you have some kind of idea of what's important within the topic and how to structure your independent research. Although most students like to turn up to the lectures in person, occasionally you may not be able to make it, you may have a conflicting demand on your time. Helpfully though, all the lectures are video recorded on a system called Ellie, so you can watch them back if needs be. You can also stop and start the lectures um, so that you can take more detailed notes. After you've had a couple of lectures within a learning cycle, there'll be a syndicate workshop, so your first classroom-based activity. And the syndicate workshop will last approximately an hour and a half, and you'll be with three other syndicate groups. Um, what's really important for the syndicate workshop is that you come prepared. So you'll need to consult with the module pack and you'll need to have completed the reading activities before the syndicate workshop. There may also be a couple of tasks for you to perform individually. But when you're in the syndicate workshop, you'll be going about a number of set tasks and activities within your syndicate. So you'll be working as a team. There'll be a member of staff present so that they can clarify any misunderstandings you may have and guide you through the learning materials. The main purpose of this syndicate workshop is so that you can build foundational or basic knowledge within a topic or area so that the later seminar is that much more productive. Students often say that the seminar is where their understanding of the topic becomes clearer. Seminars consist of two syndicate groups worth of students, so this is around 18 students in total, and they often last around an hour and a half in length. At the seminar, you'll be discussing a list of pre-prepared questions that you'll have received well in advance of the seminar. These questions won't be new to you, as they cover uh, the topics that you looked at in your lecture and also in your syndicate workshop. The most important thing for your seminar, so that you can get the most out of it, is to ensure that you actually prepare for it. To make sure that you attend your lecture and your syndicate workshop and that you take the time at home to do the necessary reading and to prepare for the, the list of questions that you've been set. If you do this, then the seminars will be really useful for you to solidify your understanding in the area and help you to prepare for your revision later on in the year. The final aspect in any cycle of learning then is the question and answer session. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It's an opportunity for you as students to come and ask questions of us as staff and get them answered. 
So for an hour session, the members of staff on the teaching team make themselves available to answer any questions you may have. Now these questions may be uncertainties that you have about the subject matter within the topic. So it may be that there are still things you don't understand even after you've had your lecture, your syndicate and your seminar. So in that case, you can come and see us and seek our assistance to get you to a better understanding. Or, on the other hand, it may be you understand everything perfectly and you just want to discuss ideas more deeply with us. And that's equally as good. So it's a very open, very free form session where anyone who wants can pop in, see members of staff and have a chat about the subject matter. And that's the last aspect of the cycle.